Hello, how are you? I can't hear you and I'm not interested. <laughs> no, I am. I'm not, so back to me. Now, previously in my life, I proved that living alone can be genuine fun. embarrass myself in front of Gary. Yeah, as long as you fill it with good sausage meat. Oh, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And what else? Oh, yes, my mother showed me her holiday photos. Round the headland, there was another lovely beach. Oh, was the whole island nudist? Or... <laughs> oh, that's a good one of your father. Cover from something like that. <laughs> Quickly, on with the show. Right, taster number four. Maybe you'll enjoy this one. Gratinée de Saint-Jacques. I love having a chef friend. What, because you appreciate fine food? It's more that it's free food, Gary. Free food! <laughs> Right, that's it. You clearly don't appreciate my work. I mean, I go to all this effort and all you can say about it is it's free. I've never been more aroused. <laughs> oh, off putting. Or oh, they're doing that kissing but not kissing thing. I either do or don't. That's Chris and Alison. They're lovely. Well, that's a bit much. Oh. Now, Gary, that was delicious. Oh, thank you, Chris. Yes, yeah, a new menu I'm working on. We thought so, didn't we, Mr. Papa Bear? Yes, we did, my wet-nosed cub. <laughs> <laughs> Such, Such a, a good, good chef. chef. <laughs> Said it at the same time. <laughs> Said that, that at the, the same, same time. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sorry. This is my friend, Miranda. Hello, lovely. <laughs> Puddings. 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 My wetness. Stop it. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's a really sweet story. They were just friends at university, and then uh, they said they'd get married if they were still single when they were 40. She was a safety wife. People actually do that. Mm -hmm. They don't look 40. Well, they're not. He uh, took her off to Paris last year and proposed. Do you have a safety wife? <laughs> no. Why are you offering? Yes, please, very much so. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, all right, so... What age shall we set the date at? 55? 35. 55. <laughs> 55, I meant 50, 55. 35? That's next year. You're meant to allow time to meet Mr. Wright first. No, exactly. Of course, absolutely, because we don't want this. This would not be ideal. Grim. <laughs> there! Yuckety yuck at you! You make me feel. <laughs> so. Yeah. Just to be safe, I know it's 21 years hence, but should I book a venue? <laughs> Fifty-five is insulting. Well, as I say, it works so you allow time to meet the one. But, uh, you know, if something happens before you're fifty-five, then obviously you don't ignore it. If there's a moment, then clearly the rules are you go to Paris and get engaged. A moment. Deal with this, Miranda. Elegance. <laughs> Stevie, 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 Stevie. I've got to leave early to talk to my builders. Yeah, but I've got news. Anyway, this is a night school prospectus. Yeah, I'm doing a French course, and I'll tell you pourquoi. So we can start to go international sales wise. Right, what two I'm things think to say. Firstly, <gasps> secondly, needy high maintenance friend with news. Bonjour. Mm. Gather, please. Right. Gary yeah. has asked me to be his safety wife. Ooh. But he said, obviously, if something happens before then, we wouldn't ignore it. You know, if there was a moment. He's considering there might be a moment between us, Stevie. I've got to create a moment and do some wooing. Woo it's harder to say than you imagine that. Wooing. Wooing. Getting away from the point. I need to create a romantic, spontaneous moment so Gary sees me in a sexual light. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. How is Gary ever going to see you in a... No, no. What I, what I mean is, you're... No, you're just not... You're not very... You know... No, no what I mean is, you know, you don't have... No, what are you... What, what you're not... I mean, you're not like me. You're... You're just... You're just very British, aren't you? I mean, say sex. 
hacks. <laughs> you know I don't like to say it, I prefer the term shenanigans. It sounds nicer. And you're British? Yeah, British in nationality, yeah. But when it comes to the language of love, I'm practically Spanish. You know, just a look in my eye and pheromones are released. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Okay, although I just to turn a phrase, can I leave this with you? Your old diaries, which I have to say make very interesting reading. You read them, of course, like Anne Frank, but more depressing. <laughs> well, can't they stay at home? No, we've cleared out your old room because we've extended the bathroom and we're fitting a jacuzzi. Right, mustache. The evening news will be out. We're looking at the personals to find you someone, and I don't want your father to start without me. He only circles white people, and I, I've told him when it comes to finding you a husband, we can't afford to be racist. <laughs> we will consider a black man. You can say black, it's fine. You sure it's not racist? <laughs> oh, oh, well then, I do love a black man. <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> that mouthing word Thing's a real middle class tick. I know. At least she was doing it properly this time. Normally she gets confused and does it the wrong way round. The other day she said, You know those two women next door? Lesbians. <laughs> exactly. Stevie always underestimates me. I knew I could do romance. <laughs> oh, it's our song. Have you blessed? Summer love is happy so fast. I'm Subsidence. Please, can I stay with you? Thanks. <laughs> I've got a Gary plan. Come in. Thank you. Although I was thinking maybe I shouldn't bother. I mean, I don't even know if I want a relationship. Somebody knowing everything about me. I mean, do I really want somebody knowing that sometimes I dress up as the Queen and I record a speech and I watch it back to see what it would be like if I was the Queen? <laughs> do you actually do no. that? Stay, but please don't take over my life. You hardly notice me, especially if Gary's here. OK, your plan. <laughs> Why don't you come with me to my French course, yes? Passionate, sophisticated language, mon chéri. Are you saying I'm unsophisticated? Bottom. <laughs> Bottom. <laughs> Look, a classroom remembering my school days isn't going to help me feel passionate. <laughs> Apparently, the teacher is cute, although if he is, he's mine. <laughs> Come on, you need a bit of chic to get you in the romantic zone. OK. I refer you to the last time you attempted something in this field. Hi there. Oh. Hi. So? So, do you want kids? <laughs> Don't run in the corridor, pull your skirt down. Oh, what is this? Well, this is God's way of telling me not to bother. And always could do better from the French teacher. I thought a leather jacket made him cool. Oh, wow, he's lovely. Mm, cute smile. Oh, it's him. He will be mine. Stevie, that's Mr Clayton, my old French teacher. No way. Way. Really way. A very much way. Oh, it's really cringy seeing a teacher after 20 years. It's feelings of fear, embarrassment, primarily embarrassment. <laughs> right, I'm going to go before you can see me. <laughs> I'm stuck in the chair. <laughs> Stevie, I'm stuck in the chair. It's about to start. Bonjour, la classe. Bonjour. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que c'est, Pax? 
Pardon, monsieur, euh, je suis dans le wrong room. Miranda. Ce n'est pas me, tout à l'heure. Je suis on me out. Is that in Scottish? It is you. Back for more. French was never really your métier, I seem to remember. No, no, but uh, German has become my bag. Mine... bag. Oh, yeah, I've done, uh, I've done pretty well with my life, yes. I use the German for my fashion business, so I think you'll find I couldn't do better. <laughs> yeah? If I did better, I'd be God. <laughs> Good evening to you. Do you need help with the chair issue? The chair issue? There isn't a chair issue. This is part of my autumn range. Practical fashion. I mean, it looks good. Sure thing. <laughs> Once on a lot. But it's practical. You can sit down whenever and wherever you so need to do. This has been one of life's true pleasures. Good evening. Bonsoir. To uh, pull myself off? Don't. <laughs> oh, I'm released. God. Ooh, school corridors, freaky. So, why weren't we allowed to run in them, actually? <laughs> <laughs> classes would help me get romantic. <laughs> sorry about the whole food thing earlier and um, to make it up to you how about a tango class tomorrow night? Oh I adore tango. Oh well you go Clive. <laughs> no the offer wasn't for Clive. I was regional under 12 champion. Oh well, you go top of the class with Clive. I don't want to go top of the class with Clive. My speciality is cape work. Clive should definitely be your partner. I don't want Clive to be my partner! So If you don't stop talking about tango, I'm going to strangle you with this tablecloth. <laughs> so, Gary, will you come? What about Clive? No, thanks. I hate tango. I always have. I despise it. It's abhorrent. It's a perversion of all that is good and natural in this world. I hate it. Dirty, dirty, dirty. That's enough. <laughs> so, Gary. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Up for a challenge? <laughs> You are beautiful, no matter what they say. And words can bring me down, yeah. You are beautiful in every single way. So don't you bring me down today. <gasps> oh, it's a clay to the pants! Oh, gosh, I am so sorry, sir. Hey, come on now. Call me Keith. Keith. Teachers having first names is always funny. <laughs> I really am very, very sorry. Don't worry. I was just about to have a shower. <laughs> Stevie! I can't believe... I can't believe... Oh, you hardly noticed me. Oh, I couldn't help it. Took me to a fantastic restaurant. Oh, and I tell you, an older man knows foreplay. <laughs> Oh, sorry, we got a little bit uh, carried away on the sofa. <laughs> oh, and on the chair. Oh, chair. God. Is there anywhere I'm safe? Oh, not there. Oh, what's that? People have sex. Stop being so middle class about it.
about it? Stevie, that was my old French teacher. He's seen me in gym knickers. I don't want someone in my home that's seen me in gym knickers. I don't want anyone thinking about me in gym knickers. <laughs> oh, you disgust me. <laughs> Please say I'm not seeing him again. But you're always saying you want me to have more fun. Oh, not that much fun. <laughs> Going to open the shop. <laughs> I blame boarding school entirely for not being able to cope with the facts department. <laughs> so what is the... Oh, God. We just weren't taught the birds and the bees properly. All we had was a weird video in biology about conception. We saw this heart-shaped swimming pool, in the middle of which was a lilo with a woman lying on it looking erotic. She was the ovum. On the outside were a whole mass of men in speedos and swimming caps. They were the sperm. We heard a starting gun, the sperm dived in, and one of them ended up on the lilo and embraced the woman. The biology teacher then switches it off, right, that's that, that's what? What was there was no finer details? What was that? One girl in my house, Brashita McCorkadale, real name. <laughs> she still won't go swimming for fear of getting pregnant. <laughs> right, no, I can, I can, I can do this. I can, I can get romantic. I can do it for all boarding school girls up and down the nation. <laughs> I am an erotic ovum. <laughs> <laughs> Just leaving. Au revoir. Or should I say, ich werde sie bald sehen. Yeah. <laughs> Could do better. Wing, 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 wing. Stevie. Yes. Hi. Do you notice anything different about me? Yeah. I just bought some boots for the tango class tonight. I now feel I have the walk of a true woman. Do I look? Romantically available? <laughs> if camp is available, then yeah. So how is this camp? <laughs> customer, customer. Hello, hi. Oh, these are fun, aren't they? Going to a fancy dress. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you try one of these? Hi! <laughs> Buongiorno. What's up with you? <laughs> Nothing at all. The jacuzzi was finished yesterday and we've hardly been out of it. As your father says, bubbles hide a multitude of sins and suggest a multitude of others. <laughs> Unacceptable information. I was a bit concerned because the plumber that installed it was... Woman. <laughs> so? Well, I know they can plumb just as well, but it's not right. A woman knowing... No, you see, all, all I'm seeing is... <laughs> the ins and outs of a loo. All right. <laughs> oh, what enormous wig hair. The wrong way round. <laughs> well, uh, right, I must be what I call heading off. It's just heading off. It's not just what you call heading off. Your father's ordered a mid-afternoon jacuzzi session. No, she's not going to put me off. Tonight, adios, uptight Miranda. She will be swept aside for a feisty Argentinian damsel. I am going to create the romantic moment. For tonight is the night when dos become uno. <laughs> Bonne chance. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Keep as close as you can. Mmm. You two are very good together. Miranda, customer! Ah! <laughs> I am so sorry, let me help you up. No, no, please, please don't touch me again. <laughs> Wish it was the first time I'd heard that. <laughs> Fantastico, muy sensual. You, it's a bit camp. <laughs> I can't believe that Chris and Alison are here as well. No talking. Sorry. We are teaching our bodies every sinew to talk. Wow, she is amazing. Stop! Stop! 
que bailar como hipopótamo. You will not learn when you dance with her. Chris, you are a natural. Really? You mind? Well, I do a bit. Silence! <laughs> Musica! <clears throat> Aren't you the lucky one, eh, Miranda? What? <laughs> <laughs> Why is she like? <laughs> the nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda, what are you doing? What's that say? Take three to tango. <laughs> That was great. Oh, yes, yes, it was great, yeah. So you're going to advance next week? Well, I might as well, if you don't mind, do you? No! <laughs> Why would I mind? Of course I don't mind. Nothing springs to mind about minding at all, no. Well, look, look, you're not actually going to eat that kebab, are you? No, I bought it just to chuck in a bin. I'm unashamed to admit that for me, this is the dog's bollocks. It probably literally is. Yeah, you should put it in the bin. No! Oh, come on, Miranda, it's disgusting. I like it. You're such a food just snob. put it in the bin. No! Come on, put it in, put it in. Just put it in. Why don't you just put it in the bin? Eat it! I'd take this over some of your fancy dishes. But, do you know, I really thought you understood my work. I give up. It's completely pointless. Aroused again. <laughs> <gasps> He's coming back. Maybe he felt the arousal too. This could be a moment. <laughs> Right, I'm not apologising. I'm still angry. Yes. I've had a thought. Yes. Tomorrow night, I am going to give you a proper... Take me! <laughs> ...cooking lesson. What? Take me on, take on me, I'll be there. <laughs> Just some aha. <laughs> Sorry, did you say a cooking lesson? Excellent. No, that sounds great. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, enjoy your kebab. I will. Oh, that's a chilli. Uh -huh. That's very yeah. hot. No, I, I still like it. Last night, I got tangled out of a dance class by a very frightening dance teacher. I had an argument with Gary, found him sexy, thought there was going to be a moment, got offered a cooking lesson. <laughs> this is all your fault, Stevie. I tried to create a romantic moment, but I keep ending up in lessons. This will be my third in two days. And you know I hate being reminded of school. <laughs> no! No, this could be good. You think he's sexy when he's angry, yeah? Yeah. Well, a cooking lesson. Angry chef. Anger becomes sexual chemistry like in the films. Perhaps it wasn't a moment because I wasn't angry too. Exactly. Furious chef. Angry pupil. Food everywhere. Fiery, very filmic, where we can do nothing but rip each other's clothes off. The trouble is, you can't handle the world of shenanigans. <laughs> no, 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 that girl's still very much gone. I'm still an Argentinian whore. Well, <laughs> not a whore, but sexual, you know. <laughs> a couple of notches down from whore, pre-doing it for money. <laughs> oh, oh, here he is. He's here. There he is, and you've both been again, and that's fine. That's fine, yeah, it's just sex. 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 There. You see. I said it. It's fine, you know. We all do it, don't we? Well, some of us try, but it doesn't matter. No. It's all just willies and front bottoms. We all have them. <laughs> One of them. Not many people are blessed with having both, I imagine. <laughs> I mean, what's weird about a man pushing his Michael Phelps to reach her Lilo? <laughs> right. Better head off. 
Enchanté, la belle dame du soir. Mmh. Peut-être la prochaine fois, un disque local. <laughs> I'm fine with this. Oh, it's lovely. Mm. Oh, that's a bit much. Please put it down, please. Put it down and off you. Oh, thank you. you Disgust me. So, if you can make a ratatouille, you've got a delicious basic you can use with rice, pasta, you know, you can add meat. Can you try and get the chunks the same size? You bollocking bastard! <laughs> now are you going to get all Ramsay on my ass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know that's not my style. OK, so, you saw how I made the fresh tomato sauce. Now, to stop it drying out, I'm just going to add some tinned tomato. Why didn't you just do this in the first place? I prefer these anyway. Prefer tin to a fresh sauce. This will work. Bring on the moon. Tinned to your sauces, I find them a bit stodgy, that's all. Miranda, you've done nothing but insult my cooking recently. You try to wind me up. No, I just prefer these, that's all. You're acting like an annoyed wife who won't tell her husband why she's angry. Well, I wouldn't know, would I? Safety wife age 55. Most people set their safety marriages at 40 at the latest. That's because most people have the idea in their 20s, not when they're single in their mid-30s. 34 is not mid-30s, it's late 20s. <laughs> Well, you're acting as if you're six recently, you're excitable, then you're angry. Well, it's the new me. I'm being impulsive, a lover of life, a, a lover, a new taste, new experience, and... Uh, oh, garlic! Oh, it's not funny! I'm being erotic! Puncture my lilo! <laughs> For bruschetta! You want some bruschetta? No! You idiot! This is the moment, but it's so not the moment. The films are wrong, you're just angry and covered in sauce. Such a child! You're a child! You're a child! I've seen my pants. Right! That's it! Come on! Oh! Oh! Mr. Clayton, don't move before tying the gown a little safer. Oh! <gasps> Saw it! <laughs> Could do better. Uh, Miranda, darling, can I stay? The jacuzzi's flooding. Oh, that's it. Everybody in. <laughs> Bambi Rangers cares for me My baby don't care for Cars and races My baby don't care for Close look at Britain's favourite pictures next tonight. Sue Perkins looks at the art on our walls and our changing tastes as part of the modern beauty season. Something fishy on BBC Three now. It's Britain's really disgusting foods.